What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. As you guys could see, we have completely lost everything in Blocks Roots. Actually, it is a brand new account I made here called Ideo Blocks Roots because I'm going to give you guys a full beginner's guide where I'm going to go on the journey with you guys and show you guys what to do. So if you guys enjoy, subscribe, hit that bell. All my socials are linked down below. And yeah, our like goal is going to be 20 likes. So like the video if this helped you guys out. And yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So when you first come in the game, you're going to be in this island. You're in the first sea. There's three seas. And as you go through the game, you're going to learn how to get to the other seas. So so yeah, with that being said, let's talk about how to actually do everything. So when you first come in the game, the first thing you're going to want to do is come to the bandit quest giver. So you come here, please select the quest bandits. And this is pretty easy. You have to defeat five bandits and the bandits are going to be over here. This is just how you start off. So you want to just kill them. You know, it's going to be pretty easy. Now, always do a quest before you start killing the enemies because you can give money and XP and you're going to need some money because you're going to be buying your first fruit. So that's pretty cool. But as you can see, the mastery on the combat's going up as you level up the mastery, you're going to get closer to unlocking the new moves and this applies to fruits and swords and basically everything you use in the game but yeah let's go ahead and let's finish up killing these guys we need to kill two more and boom we have completed our first quest now when you complete a quest you're gonna actually uh, level up and when you level up you're gonna unlock new stats so how do you do the stats well since you're a new player in the game at this time i would not recommend you worry about the gun or the sword i'd recommend putting everything in the melee defense and blocks fruit so let's do that for now let's put 12 into the melee just so we can kill the bandits faster and by the way, guys as you level up and stuff when you reach a certain level this thing is going to turn red and it's going to tell you to go to a new area so when that happens you're going to basically follow it okay so i'll be back with you guys we're going to keep killing the bandits and as soon as we're at that point i'll let you guys know all right boys so we're back so we were just on the beginner island and you couldn't see but it's said to check the compass when you check the compass it's going to tell you to track so once you get to level 10 you're gonna uh it's gonna tell you to check it just click track and then it's gonna tell you where to go get the boat from the boat dealer and then you're gonna want to come here so just follow it it's gonna be the jungle because you know after there you go to the jungle i was recording earlier by the way and i forgot to uh, unpause the recording so i'm stupid but yeah you will see a boat dealer over there just use it to come here and once you're here you're just going to want to set the spawn point in case you die so you have to go all the way back and you'll know, travel back here but let's talk about how you actually get your first ever fruit in the game because you obviously only have combat and combat's boring so to get your first fruit you're gonna want to come to the black Roots gotcha and depending on what level you are he's gonna make you bend more for it so since we're low level we have to be level 50 okay but the point is that you're gonna be able to buy your first fruit and you are gonna have to like you have some money on you at least obviously but here we go we're gonna do the next quest which is gonna be defeat six monkeys that should be easy here's my stats so far i put most of it in the melee just so i can uh defeat the enemies a lot faster but as you can see this one's a little bit stronger so we may actually have to do more than just uh melee now but i still want to get through everything but yeah when you're here guys at this point it's gonna want to keep on grinding it is pretty easy you might die a time or two just because you know you're new to the game when you level up it actually does reset your health as well so keep that in mind in fact let me just put some stats into my health real quickly which is defense i forgot to mention this as well you guys but another reason you want to put a lot of stats in your melee is not just because of the the attacks with the combat but also because it gives you energy as well and now we actually have a new quest available guys so if you click here it's gonna just gonna tell you to go back to this guy here and you're actually gonna unlock a second quest from the adventure and that's the gorillas gives you all the information just click confirm and you can do the mission let me actually just put some stats real quickly there we go we use our stats now let's find the gorillas i think there you know what i actually don't know all right so i found out that's actually over here on the small island now this is also where the gorilla king is as well which is like the first boss in the game but let's focus on these gorillas bro because these guys are gonna be quite tough to beat oh my gosh bro so i think once we reach level 20 or 25 i'm not sure which one but one of those levels we are going to be unlocking the next boss as well or the first boss i should say which is the gorilla king which is also on the island don't mess with him right now otherwise you're going to get absolutely destroyed if he spawned uh you still want to at least reach the level so if you do kill him you know you don't have to like you know not get any xp so you're going to get xp and money but you get way more if you like you know did a quest for it but these gorillas they're not too bad and so we actually did unlock the boss but obviously we still have to do the quest which is what we're going to do if this guy would like actually let us you know do the quest so by the way guys uh just know that if anyone ever tries to kill you in the game you should probably just leave if you're new because you know you're not you probably should not be getting into pvp or if they're just like killing all your enemies you should also leave as well because that's pretty annoying but we're it's all good though because we have just uh done it again we're at level 23 so the boss is actually in the server so let's actually go ahead and show you guys what it's like to fight a boss now obviously we don't have a fruit or anything yet so hopefully we can still kill him it might take us maybe a few tries i don't know we'll see but as you come here we're gonna do gorilla king and we can fight him so here we go here's guys the gorilla king 
He's the king of the gorillas. Oh, boy. The first boss that you'll be fighting in the game, boys. You better be ready to take this guy on. Ooh. As you can see, he does have some sp special moves, so keep that in mind. But he's not the worst. I mean, obviously, he's the first boss, so he's crazy for me. Although, I honestly, I'm almost dead. Oh, my gosh. No. Get away. Get away. Get away. Ground smash. Ah, the ground smash is useless. He's a gorilla. Quick tackle. There we go. You see, guys, you gotta play smarter. Oh, and he killed me. Well, thankfully, we set our spawn point, so that was a pretty good opportunity to show you guys what that's like. You know, when you die, you just respawn in the island that you're at when you set the spawn, so... Always remember to do that if you don't have portal, but... And we're back. He is still getting health. Honestly, most bosses are gonna, like, regenerate their health, like, really fast. I'm surprised this one isn't really at full health, but it's all good, though. Let's try that. Oh, gosh. Let's try that. Oh, no. Try... Ugh, let's try that again. Okay, that worked. That worked. He's almost... Dead. No! Oh, come on, bro. So, since that guy killed him and I did most of the damage, I got all the XP and stuff. So, yeah, pretty good stuff right there. And that's basically, like, the main part of the game, pretty much, for the beginner's guide. Just keep doing what I said. Keep coming here. Uh, when you reach a certain level, it'll tell you when to use um, the compass, and you can just use that to find the NPC you gotta kill. It is very simple. And once you're level 50, you are gonna talk to this guy, and you're gonna, you know, get your, uh, your fruit. And that fruit, which, until then, you do wanna put stats into your fruit. You're gonna wanna keep grinding, you guys. That's the only way you're gonna get better. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this beginner's guide. It is honestly, like, if, if you've played this game before, if you know what you're doing, then obviously this is pretty much unneeded. But if you're a new player, then welcome to the game, bro. Hopefully you have some fun. Enjoy the journey while you're here. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.